shades of red. Red. That's the color of the graffiti I knew you painted. The color of the walls I knew you stained with your spray cans of blackness. The fear you put into people's eyes with your hood, drenched in drugs, gangs, and violence. I knew your type. I knew exactly what kind of person you were as soon as I saw you. I knew you. Scarlet. That's the color of the smoke that rose in the front of my eyes when I saw your skin. The color of my deep-seated fury, I knew you. We're looking for houses to rob, things to steal, and more walls to vandalize. Except, in the end, I was the one that robbed you. I stole your voice and vandalized your body with my bullet. Crimson. That's the color of the blood that crawled from your veins after my bullet pierced your heart and turned you into nothing. I didn't think that anyone would care. I didn't know that your life was that important, so when they asked me why I did it, I told them that you attacked me. When they asked me why I did it, I told them that it was in self-defense. They believed me. They found me not guilty of a murder I had already confessed to. A murder I committed because I knew you. Maroon. That's the color of the grass stain you left after they carried your body straight to the morgue. Garnet. That's the color of the pile of roses on your parents' front porch. Burgundy. That's the color of the candles people light for you. Cardinal. That's the color of the letters that spell out the word murderer above my name on every picket sign. Rest. That's the color of the bricks people hurl at the windows of my truck in my home. Red. That's the color that I keep on seeing. Red. That's the color of the tears I've shed for my freedom because living unpunished with your death is worse than an eternity behind bars. Red. That's the color of reality. I didn't know you. I didn't know that all you had was a bag of Skittles and a can of sweet tea. I didn't know that you were just an innocent black boy on his way home. I didn't know you at all.